These are large trees being unloaded from a tractor trailer. We usually get about 70 of the 10 to 12 or 12 to 14 foot trees on a load. And this is the size of the truck that a large load will come on. And you can see the bobcat, that's the kind of bobcat or the other one over there in the background is the type you need to unload with. It needs to be a fairly large loader if you're getting a 10 to 12 or 12 to 14 foot tree. An MT-52 or 55 will pick up these balls. That's a smaller walk behind bobcat. But in some instances if you don't have a good operator you're going to have a little bit of trouble. And as you can see we do one tree at a time. Usually we like to schedule the truck to arrive at your site at 8 a.m. in the morning. The trucker will sometimes help you unload, but he can't always do that due to DOT requirements. These trees come from one of our fields, and we ship directly to your location. And as I said, we'd like to try and get the trees there at 8 a.m. so the trees do not transit during the daytime. We like to transit the trees at night. If you're unloading, you will need between two and four people to help unload. The unloading time is usually about three hours. However, it can vary due to conditions such as rain and clement weather or the skill of your operators in loading and unloading. Usually the truckers allow approximately three hours for you to unload the truck. It usually is not a problem. They, they do like to have you uh, provide them with a trash can for any of the debris so that they can leave with a clean bed because that's a DOT requirement for them to leave your site. The truckers usually can get there on time unless there are traffic delays, which do occur. When taking the trees off the truck, it's sometimes advisable to place them, but if it takes it a little bit extra time, you may have to pay a, a late or an overage for the trucking. We like to, do, to handle the trucks as the trees on the trucks as little as possible. The bobcats are a great machine for unloading. If you're going to store the trees for any time period, what you all have to do is just keep them hydrated by watering them. I would turn a sprinkler on them for a couple hours a day if you're going to leave them for a few days in order to plant them. If you are going to leave them for any extended period of time, you have to unfurl them. They're usually tied up and wrapped, and the wrapping should all come off. Make sure you get all the twine off because if it's a plastic twine, make sure every bit of it comes off because it can girdle the tree if you leave it on. And that's pretty much how you can get your trees and getting them off of a truck. My name is Mike. I'm here at Highland Hill Farm. Behind me is a sky pencil hog. As you can see, they're in a large container. They're about four to five foot tall. They're very nice. People like sky pencil hogs because they are a narrow plant that doesn't get very wide, and you can trim the top at any height that you would like it at. Other factors that people find appreciative is that they're evergreen and that they're deer resistant. You can call us at 215-651-8329 to order something. Thank you.